Welcome to Mr. Investor Real Estate Dojo. Okay, today we're talk about sellers for free. Okay, so you know when you read a lot of books and you go a lot of seminars like I have, um, you understand that education is very important. But a lot of times, you know, the gurus are talking about how to do stuff that costs money, unfortunately. And from my background as an immigrant to, to the U.S., uh, living out of my car after graduation with having only a hundred bucks, I didn't have money. So basically, what I had to do is use my burning desire, but most importantly, my creative thoughts to be able to chisel something out of nothing, out of the stone, like the great artists do. Okay, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Because if you have a burning desire, um, you have discipline. You could do anything in America, and so let's go ahead and jump into how to find motivated sellers so you can monetize your time um, and get deals done as fast as possible, okay? All right, we talked about what is a motivated seller uh, earlier. Now we're going to talk about how to find motivated sellers, okay? All right, now marketing is one of the most crucial things in any business. Not, now, in real estate, it's, it's the same story. It's nothing different. Let me explain to you what marketing is, uh, by not by the definition, by just like common words, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you two scenarios. One, marketing is like the feel in your car, okay? You could have a car, you could have the wheels, you could have the engine, all the parts, but if you don't have one gallon of fuel, that magnificent machine will not do anything for you besides be a big liability, okay? Now, let me take it to the cellular level or your body level, people that don't understand anything about cars, okay? Um, on the cellular level, ATP, which is the simplest form of sugar, if I could put it that way, is needed for your cells to function. If your cells don't have ATP, that will not function. It doesn't matter what cell it is, if it's your brain, if it's your heart, if it's your skin, what have you. So your body needs ATP to function. So coming back to being a real estate investor, your business needs marketing. Without marketing, you have nothing. Let me repeat that again. Without marketing, you have nothing, okay? And marketing does cost money, okay, guys? Um, and let me explain explain one, one, one other thing, okay? Marketing is like a function, all right? Um, what, what do I mean as a function? All right? Marketing is a function. Uh, and I'll draw one thing here. So marketing equals $1 put in, that's what you want to happen and you want to get five, six dollars out, okay? So it's a function. You want to put something in, but you want to get more out than what you put in, okay? And the hard part of marketing is try to have enough money to be able to test pilot different types of marketing medias out there and figure out which one really gives you the most output. There's times you put money in, you put one in and you get zero out. And that's not a good marketing. It costs time and money and energy to figure that out. Where other times you may put money in and get three out or four out. And sometimes you put money in and you get 10 out. So of course, you want to test try many different medias and see what works for you, okay? All right, so when you have one of these functions going, for example, mass mailing. Then you can have you, you will need another marketing function. Let's say this one is door knocking. All right? Then you have another marketing function. All right? And this one this one is cold calling. All right? So when you have multiple marketing functions this is called a marketing plan. All right? And, you know, 
simply put. So when you have multiple levels of functions going out there and bringing you customers or sellers in this case, then this is called a marketing plan. And you know, I'm going to show you uh, ways to market to get motivated sellers because this business is all about motivated sellers. Okay. Now, notice that this machine or this function takes dollar bills, guys. It doesn't take anything else. It only takes dollar bills. And now, this is very important. I want you to understand. You said, hey, Mike, you said we could do free stuff. But you're telling me that the marketing machine only takes dollar bills. You're 100% right. It only takes dollar bills, okay? So I'm going to show you how to put dollar bills into the machine if you have no money, okay? Man, a lot of people have been telling me through my life that you need money to make money. And man, one thing I've learned, let me tell you this, in America, you don't need money. All you need is a burning desire, you need your creativity, you, you, you need focus, you need drive, you need commitment. And if you're willing to work hard, you could have anything in America, okay? So a lot of people tell me you need money to make money. And that's a bunch of BS, excuse my language, let me say that. That is false myth. I had no money, no credit, no support, nothing, guys, nothing, and lived in my car. So you don't need money, okay? Now I'm going to show you the mathematical formula to turn your time into money, okay? So money equals time, all right, guys? And please notice that this is a capital T. It's not the time that you recognize. It's not your clock time here. And I'll define what time is in a minute. But what I want to explain to you guys is that majority of people, this is how it will work. If you have a lot of money, majority of you have a good probability that you don't have a lot of time because you're a very busy person. Okay? And vice versa. If you have a lot of time on your hand because you're unemployed or you know you don't know what you're doing or you know you're a student or things of that nature, then you're gonna have very low money. See? Alright? So it's almost as an inverse, okay? Now some people that have a whole lot of money have learned how to create systems and have their money work for them in the I quadrant, like Rich Dad says, to have free up their time. So it, it's not always like this, guys, but from what I've learned and seen is if you have a lot of money, you have low time. And if you have a lot of time, you have low money, okay? So we got that part. And that happens to be true for a lot of people, mentor students that I meet, okay? So now the question was, pay attention, how do you put money in here when you have no money to get some money out into this marketing machine, okay? Very simple, guys. Money equals time, and that's big time. Now, you guys don't have big time right now, and I'm going to define what big, big T is. Big T equals little t. Now, little t is that clock time, okay? Plus experience. So, guys, here's, here's what it is. If you have a lot of time, the little t, and you add the ingredients of experience because you're going out there and getting knocked down. You're going out there and getting knocked down. You're getting out there and getting knocked down. You're going out there and learning. You're going out there and beating the odds and having faith in yourself that you can do this, and you're working every day to combat your fears and go do things that are new and not allow yourself or your fears to hold you back, then you're going to get experience with your time. And when you add these two up, equals big T. And guys, once you have that big T, you can trade that off because t money equals big T to do this, okay? To put into some of these methods of marketing that uh, cost money or is low money because you could turn the big T into cash, all right? 
So you don't need money to make money. All you need is time, and then you need to take your small T, put experience into it to get the big T, and then you, since big T equals money, put it into this marketing machine. All right. Now, this is very important. One of the most important things that I'm going to show you in the beginning is the foundation, okay? What is the foundation? How to determine what is a motivated seller? Two, how to have phone skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so important. Three, how to have sales and negotiation skills, okay? And the way to do that, I've came up with a plan how to, for you to go and attack to find motivated sellers, okay? Now, I don't recommend any, any of you guys right now spend any money in marketing. And the reason I don't, because A, you probably don't know what a motivated seller is. Even if you know it by definition, if you see a motivated seller, you're not going to recognize it. Two, if you're out here paying money for marketing and you don't have phone skills, you don't have negotiation skills, you don't have sales skills, you don't have report building skills, okay? You're not going to get as many deals hashed as possible, okay? And man, so your money's going to be gone in marketing, okay? So I don't want anybody to do this. So what I'm going to show you guys is the basic, like the gym. We're going to go out there, we're going to do pull-ups, we're going to do squats, we're going to do bench presses, we're going to do the basic stuff to build your foundation so when you go out there and spend your hard-earned money, you're, you're able to monetize that money. You put a dollar in, you get six out in, in that marketing function, okay? Then I'll show you on how to do more marketing with money down the line, okay? But right now we're gonna focus on free or very low uh, money. Remember, nothing's free in life, so if you're gonna put time in, it still costs you money because time equals money and money equals time, okay? But that's a great thing, guys. Okay? That's only in America, okay? Other part of the world, it's not like that. Where I'm from, it's not like that, guys. All right? So let's dive in. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to find motivated sellers. For, for low cost, okay? So a couple of things you guys could do. All right? You guys can get on Craigslist on back pages. All right, what I've done is I've gone in Craigslist and back pages, went on the rental section, searched for the keywords for rent, I'm sorry, for sell in the rental, I go to the rental section and I search for the keywords for sell and I call these sellers. Why are they motivated, guys? These sellers are telling you, hey, I wanna sell my house. Hey, I'm ready to rent my house. So they really don't know what they want to do because they're motivated. They're willing to do whatever. They're ready to sell it. They're ready to rent it. So they're motivated and there's a pond right there that you guys could be fishing at and there's not a lot of people fishing at it because they don't like cold calling. They don't have report building skills. They don't know how to negotiate. So, But that's what you're going to do because it's hard and then you're going to be profitable at it because remember, no, there's no line at the Stairmaster, guys. Okay, and So that's what you need to be fishing. All right, so you're gonna get on Craigslist back pages, get on the rental section, boom, search for the word sell, call those motivated sellers. Now, what do you ask these people? Good question, guys. You're gonna ask them the Mr. Investor seller questionnaire form that I've already emailed to you guys, okay? And I'm gonna go over that a little bit later. I've already gone through it. You just gotta check out that video, okay? All right, next thing you could do, number two, so see Craigslist and Backpages.com. Number two, newspapers. You can pick up the Green Sheet, the Dallas Morning News, the, uh, the Dallas Observer, any local. Call the people in the, in, in the rental section, okay? Now, I keep saying the rental section because I really like the odds in the rental section. And as a risk taker, I like to invest in things that have a higher return, okay? So let me explain to you when you call renters what could happen. Only three things can happen, okay, guys? When you call a renter, only three things are going to happen, okay? One, the guy is a professional landlord like myself. 
He's going to say, hey, F you, I'm not interested. Okay? Tough luck, guys. No big deal. So you say, thank you very much. You move on with life. So this is a professional landlord. Now, this is where it gets real good. Number two, you're going to call one of these people in the rental section, and this is what I call an accidental landlord. All right, accidental landlord, they're trying to sell their, their house, but because of the economy, there's not that much equity in the property, so they're willing to just rent the property, and they don't have no clue how to be a landlord. They've never read a book. They've never gone to a seminar. Uh, so they're going to get pretty beat up in the ring, if you know what I mean. Okay? So these guys, if you call them, they're going to be very motivated. So bing, 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 bing. Now the third thing that can happen, and I'm going to put five stars on here on number two. The third thing that can happen is you call a professional landlord, but he's old, he's ready to retire, or maybe he's passed away and his wife has the estates and all the rental properties, or the son, the grandson has it, what have you. There's a lot of motivation out there. You call one of these rental properties and the guy might have 10, 20, 30, 40, five, three, who knows, two properties and they're, and they're ready to get out of the game to retire or some horrible thing has happened to them that's made them motivated and now they want to sell. So this is a great opportunity, guys. So professional landlord wants to retire or get out of the game. So I'm going to give this a three star. So in a nutshell, whenever you call rentals, you have two out of three chance of a scoring, guys. Two out of three, man. I don't, exp I don't know how to explain this. This is such a good odds. Two out of three to get a deal. And these, number three, if you get a deal with that, that's like a home run because they might have multiple properties you're able to lock up at one time. Okay, guys? So this is why I like calling the rental section. So I would do the same thing for Craigslist. I would do the same thing for the newspaper. Guys, I would get on FISBO sites for sell by owners. There's tons of them out there. There's tons of them out there. And I would get on there and go through the dirt. You got to go through mountains of dirt to find the gold nuggets, guys. It's not an easy job. And I explained to you when we first met, this is hard work, especially if you don't have report building, sales, money, credit, money, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So can it be done? Yes, this is America. It could 100% be done. You have greatness in you and you can do it, but you gotta put some work in it, guys. It's not easy, okay? Especially if you wanna do it for free. There's nothing easy about free, okay? Nothing. Free is a lot of hard work and sacrifice, man, okay? So this is what you gotta do. Hundreds and thousands of calls to get the deal with no money, okay? All these number one, two, and three does not cost you any money. All it costs is your time. You sit behind your cell phone or you sit at your home and you get on the phone, get on the horn, make as many calls as possible. Don't tell me the sad stories, how hard it is. Trust me, I've already done it. That's why I'm here, why I am here. I know how hard it is. I don't like rejection. Nobody likes rejection. But hey, sales, negotiation, rejection is part of life. Live with it. Stop complaining. Keep hustling. Okay? All right, number four. You could do what, what is called drive for dollars. So you pick one, two, three zip codes and you drive that area. And what you're looking for is abandoned houses, houses that have grass growing up high, houses that have the the yellow pages are stacked up or there's a bunch of flyers on the doors. It seems like they, they never picked it up or houses that have paint coming off of them or houses that have tar on the roof or the roof is not in great shape or, you know, you know what an abandoned house is, a house that doesn't get any love, you know, any care, okay? Those are motivated sellers. So you want to write their information down, okay? Look, look at the other video that I have, how to look, find these sellers and start marketing to them, okay? One thing you do instantly is just knock on the door. Maybe they're home. Knock their neighbor's door. Maybe ask about them, see if they know where the seller is. A lot of times, you have a good percent chance of getting that information for free, guys. Like a quote that I just read yesterday says, hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So if you don't get out and knock on that door, you miss that opportunity 100% of the times. 
All right, guys, another freebie, low cost, marketing. Talk to your friends and family. Tell everybody what you do. Hey, I buy houses. I buy houses. Tell them what you do. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter, get on YouTube. Do all these free things, guys. When I was first starting out, and you know, guys, I, I made my first company thanks to the internet, okay? I was living in my car and then moving to a, to a roommate, you know, and working out a little closet. And thanks to the internet, I was able to get my jump start and, and compete with the Goliathus of of the business arena, okay? And the only reason was through internet and creative thought and hard work and vision. Uh, so use the technology. It wasn't there for me back in the days, guys. When I was starting out, Yahoo was the king. Google wasn't even there, okay? So now you have Facebook. You don't have to learn how to make a website. You just you don't have to know any coding, no PHP, no MySQL. You don't have web hosting. You don't have to know anything, guys. Everything's online for you. You just gotta create a simple account YouTube it, if you don't know, read it, and get to work, guys. No excuses, okay? So tell your friends and family, get on online, tell your friends and family if you haven't seen the bigger circle, and let them know what you do, okay? All right, guys, the last one. Now, this one, I feel like you get the most return of your money, okay? All these, you get good return of your money. But this one is a pond that nobody wants to go fish because it's a big hike. You got to go up a big mountain of courage to go fish there, okay? And that's why I highly recommend it. And that's why I really put it number six because most people are not going to want to do it, okay? But if you're that champ, if you're the cream of the crop, you'll be on it, okay? Now, what is number six? What is the last thing? What is the big secret of the free? Door knocking. Now... See, I told you you didn't want to do it. All right, door knocking, guys. This is the cream of the crop of the free, okay? Why? I could go into it all day long and explain to you why, okay? But let me just tell you one thing, because nobody wants to do it, okay? So if you're door knocking on motivated sellers, it costs very little, you know, very little. And... The odds are exponentially. You put a dollar in and you get 20 out or 19 out, okay? It's a good function, okay? Now, if you want to do that, let me know. I'll get you the list and you go door knocking or I'll tell you where to get the list. You know, sometimes it costs money, sometimes I'll have the list. So let me know. If I like you, hey, and you're a hard worker, I'm willing to do anything possible to help you get where you're trying to go okay as long as you've got that burning desire okay now guys this is a kind of long video we talk about let me recap it we talked about motivated sellers we talked about marketing we talked about the importance of marketing uh, and how marketing is a function and we talked about how you can take your time put experience into it to get the big T to change the big T for cash to put into the marketing systems okay and then we talked about how to find some free marketing uh, medias or tactics, what I call guerrilla marketing, to get customers, sellers for free or very close to free. Okay? All right, guys, I'm out of here for right now. Nice chatting with you. Uh, looking forward to the next video. I'm looking forward to hearing from you via email, via text, via Facebook page, guys. This is Mike with Mr. Investor, and this is the Real Estate Dojo. Have a great day.